UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here too. The beautiful thing that he does is throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make him yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. If you see this, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, Golden. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. gets underway and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all and in those situations normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success i want to see how this plays out that's a big strike right there well perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there nice kick landed by this gentleman Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Let's go. Get off first for me. Whiffs on the right hand. Big leg kick land. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Lee's head kick looked like that one was blocked. 
lands with a right hand. Caught by that straight punch, that'll get his attention. Another punch to the head. Oh, huge kick to the body. Big knee there. Hands higher, hands higher. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Trying to go to the body now with the kick, that one misses. Big kick lands. Oh, nice. All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Loaded up on that right hand, too. And he lands a nice kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just a slip there. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, missed on that one. Single collar tie now. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Real nice body kick land. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice. Nice. Beautiful kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Lands the inside leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Five minutes in the books. Come on, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but it's good enough. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Nice punch by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, 
man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, there's that front kick. That was nasty. That front kick really does affect the breathing pattern of your point. Connects with a right. Nice leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Looping left hand misses the target. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Now connects with a right. Straight right hand now just misses. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Had him whip his hip into that kick. Right there, the of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Visibly limping here. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked. Oh, big punch land. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Flush right hand is true. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, single collar tie here. How about that shin? That punch no good. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. in the night. Nice punch by Lee. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Lee going for the head kick. He misses that. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Just out of range with that right hook. seconds left to go in round two. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice punch, man. Ten minutes in the books. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home 
as we approach the end of the fight, and we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. He missed with that jab attempt there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Straight right, he misses. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch, man. Kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. I mean, look at the commitment to kick in this fight. Over and over, right behind, beautiful leg kick. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Very tricky when he throws that body clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Right under the elbow, body kick lands. Just misses with the straight right. <laughs> nice punch there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. the shot. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make it. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Oh, huge block. Good stick. Big head kick land. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's going to avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Checks the leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. Oh! It's unreal. Vicious combo there. He's oh, he oh, he and he lands. Wow. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Lands a nice one, too. Seconds winding down in round three. Lee's shot there is blocked. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, well, that's the end of the round, so the location is okay, the cut on the cheek, but that is some serious blood trickling out of that cut there. You gotta think maybe at some point they call the doctor in, and if he doesn't like what he sees, maybe they stop this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat. Both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Continues with the leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Good punch. Oh, big head kick land. Big body kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Thus far, how's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gotta be over very soon. Oh, straight right. Back and forth we go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. being applied here. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar, just get the ground and pound. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponent will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling, or he'll turn to his knees and get choked out. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Lee gets up again here. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook. Kick attempt there, blocked. Come on, man, let's get that tape. Look at the turnover in that kick. remain in the round. Right. 
Ali gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, and he lands another punch. He has got it all going tonight. He didn't like that right now. Beautiful diving strike lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Real quick leg kick. Not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 55 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Golden! And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But if you knock out a man, in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.